episode of In the Shop with the Mad Snapper, we're gonna work on a chopper! A chopper! Alright, we're gonna take the uh, Texas chopper, chopper, chopper out for a ride, air in the tires, uh, battery's got juice, oil is good, I'm waiting on the uh, lenses to come in, no big deal. So let's put this seat back on. She's already in neutral. I don't know which way is going to be reserve and on. So I got a feeling that's going to be reserved because she's being reserved. Ooh, that's going to make a little revving higher than it should be a little vacuum vacuum leak we'll fix that it's only the third time i fired this bad boy up pull this clutch in just to make sure service the old boom blam because I don't know the history on it I uh, ordered the wrong lenses so I gotta do that again change this dry rotted piece and this tire is 110% dry rot so let's get that off for safety Bike's too long for the table. Trick of doing oil change on the Texas chopper is get up high enough to get to the oil drain. The oil drain is here. Try to slide it through on that side? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. You need to go up more? Yes, yeah, sir. Probably about three more turns. Right there. For the primary. Nope. Right there should be fine. So we got this drain and that drain. Yeah. The Perfect. Transmission's on the other side somewhere. I'm not sure where we have to look and try and do it. Good deal. That'll work. Yeah, we can. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for another thrust bearing for you. See if we can't fix that. I thought about buying another one because when I bought that one, they just come out, they had it on sale for like 60 bucks. It ain't real good, but for 60 bucks, opposed to 200 and something. Yeah, uh, get one. I'll buy this one from you because I don't use them all the time. That way I can use it. All right. Anyway, get the screwdriver, undo that, drain it. There's your oil first. Yeah, there's your oil fill. There's your oil filter. And call it done. Uh, what are you thinking? 2050? Yeah. Screaming Eagle, Ramsol. That's what I like. 
Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to work. And in case anybody wants to know, primary drain right there. All right. This actually has a drain plug for the oil right here. That way you don't have to fight that hose. That's what I thought, but I screwed that clamp loose now. Yep. So we're going to have to retighten that clamp and do the drain hose. That fits the clamp. Sweet. Hopefully uh, that primary looks... Oh, that's a lot of slop. Huh? That's a lot of slop. But it looks like an automatic tensioner, though. Nope. Nope. Okay. We'll adjust that, too. And I believe it's all the way up. No. Oh. Gotta get the right lens covers. We got the wrong ones. All right. Let's finish the oil change and we'll be right. Okie dokie. We have tightened the primary chain up, which basically is... Loosening that one bolt, going up one, two clicks on the teeth in the back um, because this one was kind of loose. We drained the uh, primary fluid. Now we're going to drain the oil. I already loosened the um, bolts right here. Draining, that's yeah, open. Right. Now I got one, thank you. Old filter wrench, Ola. Just like that. Oh, that plug in the way, let's unplug that. Be right back. All right, need the brakes. And to do the brakes, let's take the caliper off. We got another little snap ring. Yeah. Definitely needed some brakes. All right, losing GoPro battery, got hot, but primary fluid done oil change done spark plugs done back brakes done transmission done fuel filter done air filter done now front tire and i've still got to find lenses here we go all right all right there's front tire you got not one but two pinch bolts one there and one there to do and the one axle nut here. That's it. Let your calipers come down. These don't weigh shit. These are stainless steel braided, so I don't care about them hanging. It's not pertinent. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's get this off. Bust it down, change it, and put it back on. But I'm not doing detail on that, but I just since I'm doing the overview on the bike, that's how you take the tire off. Is this bolt, the pinch bolt, push the action through. Grab it with something, yank it out. Getting that new tire. New tire, tire. That's the last thing to do. Everything else is done. Except find a back seat for it. Okay. New tires on. We're about to do uh, some dyno beads because I don't like a balancer on the choppers. Beads seem to work good. And then uh, back it off, go for a ride. I gotta order uh, a back seat and I'm going to order the lenses. And that's it. Clean mm -hmm. her up, drive her for a couple months and she'll be ready for sale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, uh, if anybody sees this video and wants some more specific details about a certain procedure, just let me know. I'm probably gonna cut this video off here, maybe one more of it pulling away. And that's probably about it. 06 American Iron Horse Texas Chopper, 111 inch SS with a shorty Z carb and a six speed Baker right hand drive.
These things still seem to be selling for around 13 to 15, depending on mileage and condition. Don't know where I'm going to put this one yet. Alright, let's finish up that tire. Here we go. Tires holding there. No leaks. Brakes worked. Still idled correctly. Sweet. She's ready for a bath. Alright, here we go. Look at that pretty bastard. I love this. About to do a front tire on it for the customer. They already did the back tire. But while I'm here, I'm gonna help out Mr. Ed. Warming up from the oil change, the leaks. I actually was gonna do a idle adjustment on it real quick. Bring it down just a hair. 